Welcome to the Catholic newscast of our channel, The Work of God. Today we'll be discussing what happened on June 24, 2022, when the Supreme Court of the United States repealed the historic ruling known as Roe v. Wade that favored abortion since 1973, and in this way eliminated the constitutional right to the interruption of pregnancy throughout the country, a law that was established to facilitate the termination of pregnancies. This decision was supported by the majority of the court's conservative judges by five votes against four, thus opening the way for abortion to be made illegal in the states that so decide. This is great news for the Catholic and Christian people of the United States who follow the laws of God, specifically the fifth commandment that says, Do not kill. It is also an example for the rest of the world. The Episcopal Conference of the United States did not take long to express its reaction, stating that this was a historic day for the life of our country, one that stirs our thoughts, emotions, and prayers, a day that fruit of prayers, sacrifices, and defense, defense of countless ordinary Americans from all walks of life. Mike Pence, who was Vice President under former President Donald Trump, said, Life has won and urged everyone to work together for the defense of the unborn and the support of pregnant women in crisis. However, the President of the United States, Joe Biden, baptized Catholic, regretted the decision of the Supreme Court, saying it was a sad day for the country. He called it a tragic mistake and the result of extremist ideology. Biden also warned in the form of a threat. The court has done what it has never done before, expressly take away a fundamental right. It leaves me stunned. He considered that this decision should not be the last word, and declared, Congress must act. This is not over. A few days after the Supreme Court's decision, half of all U.S. states are expected to ban abortion or impose heavy restrictions following the Supreme Court decision to overturn this landmark ruling that legalized pregnancy terminations nationwide. So far, 13 states have already passed trigger bans, which took effect automatically or will do so in the coming weeks. Comments God hears the prayers of many people who are against abortion because it is an offense to God. The Constitutional Court's decision is a victory for pro-life groups and reflects the correct nature of laws of the land that should be a reflection of the laws of God. This great event is the fruit of the prayer that we all must do constantly, since whatever seems impossible for us is never impossible for God. The world has become perverted with permissiveness and self-indulgence, Fortunately, God listens to the prayers of His faithful, and in this way grace flows so that many people can get out of their dark ways. Life is sacred. Let us pray to the Lord that there be respect for life from His humble beginnings in the mother's womb until the natural moment in which God decides is seen here on earth. Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Mother of Life, Protect and born babies still in the womb of their mothers. Bless all mothers so that they may glorify God with the dignity they have received from being participants in this great mystery of life. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share on social networks. And do not forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.